Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is the second video. Um, just to let you know, this image up here, I didn't put that, I guess. I guess it came standard, but I'm probably not going to change it because I don't really care too much. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and read the question. I'm still at the 7Q level, and my level right now is 8Q, so uh, it's kind of that's kind of why these questions are easier, if they're easy for you, and uh, if they're harder for you, then uh, um, if you request it more, I guess I could go back to these levels, but um, right, other than that, I'm probably just going to continue to progress and level up, hopefully as fast as possible, while still being help helpful to everybody who watches these. Um, okay, so check to see if the string has the same amount of X's and O's. The method must return a boolean and be case insensitive. The string can contain any character. All right. Um, I don't know if I think there was like a, a big truck going by, so hopefully that didn't bother us too much. But pretty much, see if the string has the same amount of X's and O's. Oh, okay, so I'm just trying to see if how many, however many O's I have or X's I have, I have the same amount. If we look at some of these examples here. Um, our function name is XO. We're going to throw in OOXX, two O's and two X's, so that's true. Here we have two, two O's but three X's, so that's false. Um, it says case insensitive, so there we go, true. Two X's and two O's, and uh, ignoring other random letters because we don't care about those. Um, when no X and O is present, should return true. Okay, so right here. They're all Z's and P's and no X's and O's, so I guess that's legit. Zero and zero. Um, two Z's, two O's, no X's, that's false. Okay, so uh, from, from this fourth example here, um, I think I kind of said it while I was uh, going through that thought process was zero X's and zero O's, that's also equal. So uh, let's create a, an X count and set that to zero and let O count and set that to zero and return X count is equal to O count. And straight off the bat, if we do that, um, anything without the X and O's, which we don't have an example of, we can create it though. That should return true. So let's just test if the if this last one will return true like we thought. Yes, it would. Um, all these other true ones, they're just working because they expected true and I'm up by default throwing out true not because I tested anything yet. Um, but let's go ahead and get inside this string. So we know that we're going to have to look at every single letter of the string. So let's use a for loop for that. Let's then share dot length and I plus plus. Okay. And so now every time we see a lowercase x or a capital case x, we'll increase the x count. And likewise, if we see a lowercase o or a capitalized o, we'll increase the o count. So a simple if statement will do that. Um, if this, whatever letter we're looking at, if that is this, or if, uh, or how about this let letter equals this chair of i. That way we don't have to constantly Constantly type in that um, letter equals big X, and we have to do this for big X and little x because they're not equal to each other. Um, we'll add to the x count, um, and we could make this an else if. Oops, um, o or big O, then we'll increase the O count. And you might be thinking, okay, why are we using triple equals instead of double equals? Um, that's just something that's available in JavaScript. Uh, you choose to, to do the triple equals because that also checks for types and for, um, so pretty much, if you have a string of one and you do it equals that, then it'll return true while it's not true. This is a string and this is a num. This is a string and the number. If you do a triple equals, it'll check for type. Um, so basically, if you had double equals, it checks to see if 
if uh, these can be coerced into equaling each other, and yes, they can be. Um, something like this. No, they can't be. But this, the string can turn be simply turned into a num and therefore equal one. Um, if we do the triple equal, we'll check for types right away, and that'll equal false. Um, that was just why we're using triple equals instead of double equals in case you're coming from a different language that doesn't have triple equals. Um, o count. Count plus plus. And that's it. That's it. These should pass everything now. So let's attempt them. Oh my gosh, what happened? All right. On line 13. Huh? What? Letter. Letter, they don't like the letters. Oh, right here. I set it equal to that. Cool. There we go. All right. Um, and so that was X's and O's. We'll attempt that. Um, it won't, it won't let us submit it. Oh, there we go. Server issue. All right, interesting. Let's try that again. And I believe it's going through. My internet must be slow or Code Wars must be lagging or something. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool, so it worked. And uh, that was it.